That's way away. Danny H22, not Danny DC2 today. So here we go. Honda fans and everyone else rejoice. CH1 Accord Type R. Track test at Snetterton, that is today. We are at the Snettertons, yes. Now this is Potsy's car, this is one of Chris's mates. Remember my EG? You remember my EG? There's the man there, he was supporting him quite a lot last year. And he's built this car over 14 years. 1-4, 14, since 2009, right? He's had this car, he used to daily and then he's built it into a little track spec. And yeah, he says I can take it. I had to kind of bend his arm a little bit. He's a bit, you know, very, very um, precious as, as you would be. You know, spent a lot of time, a lot of effort having some, uh, some, some YouTube man drive his car. But he says he trusts me. Trust me. So which is a dangerous thing, isn't it? But hopefully, we can have a good time in it. Now, I really like these cars. I do. I really like them. I've never owned one. Josh used to own one back in the day, and I've had a couple, no, a couple of other people who have who've had them and stuff like that. I've never owned one myself, but. Who doesn't like these cars? Yeah. If you don't like them, then there's there's, there's something wrong. But well, this is a track spec, short final drive, plate diff, but it's got the usual coilovers and it's had an ABS delete. We've got no ABS in a big heavy car. That could be interesting. Really nice spec inside. Just a really really nice hybrid racing shifter. Just 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 a really nice car. Looks super serving spoiler too with the little lip. Yeah. Yeah, she's, she's, she's gonna go well for sure, I think. Oh, it's got fiberglass bonnet and boot. Right. So, CH1 from the Nankangs. We've not got ABS. What pads have we got, Pussy? PBS pads. Is it noisy inside? Not bad. Yeah. 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 I've got a microphone. Should I put the microphone in? Yes. We'll put a microphone in so you can hear me crystal clear. Let's do that. These doors are light. Fucking hell. Oh, yeah, there's nothing in them. That's why. Right. We are going out, does that go up anymore? Oh, it does. So we're just heading out now in the CH1. We are a little bit close to the pedals, but I wasn't going to let it put me off. I've also got a little bit of an injury, which is from the Mini actually. You've already seen that video. I went to push myself back on the seat rail and got my fingers, both my fingers stuck in the seat rail. And uh, yeah, they were bleeding quite a lot, so I can't quite bend my pinkies, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, microphone. Testing, testing, one, two, one, two. Oh, very aggressive clutch. Very aggressive diff. So remember, Potts has had this car 14 years. And I'm the first person to drive it, apparently. Luckily, the only gauge we've got to worry about is a water temp. We've got no oil temp or anything like that. Oh, I'm really looking forward to this. No pedal cam, but I'm hoping that angle gives you a little bit of a view.
<laughs> I can hear the VTEX through the microphone. Savage wheel vibrations, but maybe normal. I struggle to heal and tell because of how far my pedals, uh, my feet are. Here comes the racing Honda's smoke that. things to take note of on this session once we start pushing on here watch how the car reacts when you hit the rev limiter obviously I'm new to the car I was blipping it now and again it seems to almost cut all the power to the engine when that happens it's it's like a soft limiter almost on a modern car it was not very Honda-esque um, you'll start hearing some kind of VTEC dropout on left hand turns as well towards the end which is obviously pretty scary to see on video I thought I could feel it in the car, but I wasn't sure if it was just my, my pedal or not, but watching the video back, I'm pretty sure it's oil pressure, so... <laughs> and then <laughs> and then also listen to the gearbox as well towards the end. Yeah, it's fast, just you know. Yeah, I don't know if the wheel 
fast. Feels a bit sketchy. Everyone's going really wide into this car, I tell you. Alright, how's the Accord so far? We've got some interesting drivers which are uh, unfortunately distracting me a little bit. Fast. The car feels good. Yeah, it's a little bit weird on corner entry. I don't know if it's the diff being locked up or what, but there's something strange on corner entry. I think it must be the diff. H22, not Danny DC2 today. Oh, here we go. Day, not a race day. I'm not allowed to be uh, passing people in the corners. Got an Alpha Julia Gulia behind us, which I'd rather keep behind us than we can catch up to John. That'd be nice.
bounce up the side a little bit. Oh, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to box actually because that wheel vibration. I mean, can you feel it? The GoPro rock steady maybe, but the, the real vibration is quite savage and I don't want to be, uh, you know, responsible. We'll give it a little cool down on the brakes and stuff, but the water temp stay good, everything stay good. Wow, sorry, I kind of went into the zone a little bit. Hopefully I was playing all the right sounds for you through the uh, microphones. Got these two fast boys around. Handley's got his face full of mud, he's been off. Yeah, the, the gearbox didn't feel so strong. Uh, occasional crunch. Power, interesting. Feels like maybe on left-handers it wasn't getting enough oil pressure. <laughs> I wasn't sure, because with the BMB series, it's like mechanical VTEC where the K series are like an intelligent one. Right, right, right. So that was the Accord Type R. How was it? Yeah, I've never driven an Accord Type R before. It is just like a big DC2, of course it is. Of course it would be. Uh, we had a few little issues, well, DC2 spec issues really, with the, with the gears not feeling a bit, mm, a bit, hmm, yeah. Now, I could feel the weight of it. No, it's a light Accord Type R, but it's still a heavy car, isn't it? It's still a heavy car. I mean, maybe similar to like a, a what do you call it, an EP3 or something like that, maybe more like that, yeah? Maybe, maybe, but we're on the Nankangs as well, and once we started getting a bit too hot, they started... Yeah, we've been struggling with Nankangs lately, I know, I know I've done for the ring and kind of left a bit of a salty taste, especially when I've been using the, the Yokohamas and the Derezes and stuff like that, when you go back to the Nankang, as much as it's a good tyre, uh, you know, once you've sampled better, then... You know, you soon seem to find the limits of these. Maybe it just wants more meat. We're on 225 square, which is not really a lot for a big car, is it? But the old Nankangs, yeah. There's a few times as well where I felt like I might have been dropping out of VTEC, oil pressure-wise. Certainly left-hand turns on the infield. I don't know if you could tell on the audio. On the audio, but it did, it did seem like perhaps that was happening. But thanks for positive for letting me take it out anyway. Hopefully it's made some good, sweet, sweet music for you. One tick off my list, I've never driven an Accord Type R before, so, well, certainly not on track anyway. I might have driven one in the past, but nice to uh, nice to have a good going one on track. And I'm the first person other than himself in the past 14 years to drive this car. So, yeah, feeling special. All for the content, all for you. So thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think. H22, Accord Type R, super touring inspired for sure. Yeah, man. So I've got some other stuff to drive today. Nothing this posh, but maybe we can go out and try and chop them, eh? Next car is probably going to be a Clio RS. But yeah, that's all from now. So, thanks again to Potsy for letting me take his car out. It's been a pleasure. See you in a future video. It's a bit of B-roll.